Welcome everybody. Thanks for clicking on the video. It's been a while. I haven't done a video in a really long time, but I've got a good one for you today. Changing up the tempo a little bit, doing something quite different from what you're used to if you follow this channel. If you don't follow this channel, it's your first time stopping by. Thank you. Click subscribe, click like, share the video if it helps you out. We're going to talk about DEXs today, liquidity, and we're not going to talk about the decks that you think I'm going to talk about, although I am obsessed with DEXs and really obsessed with, with DEX tokens, project tokens, any tokens that um, seemingly are not necessarily essential for the ecosystem to thrive but get lots of attention. Anyway, today we're going to talk about a protocol on Kava, which is sort of a Cosmos chain, not really a Cosmos chain. You use MetaMask over there. You don't use Kepler. But that's what we're going to uh, we're going to talk about. And before we get there, I just want to remind everyone that yes, NFT Nashville is coming really soon. So appreciate anybody who follows the developments related to that NFT conference on November fourth. We're still accepting sponsors. Uh, we got a lot of good sponsors that um, decided to help us out and kick off this awesome conference that's going to focus on NFTs. Obviously, this is a DeFi video. But uh, let's get started. Let's get started. I think you guys are going to like this video because it was interesting to research and go outside my, my normal realm where I'm really comfortable, which is mainly in, in Cosmos. So let's go. And this view is not good for you. So let's change this up. But you get to see my NFT Nashville background here. Uh, starts with a tweet. This is Cosmos Haas. Cosmos Haas. Uh, puts out some good tweets here. And in this tweet, he says, insane APR alert, kinetics finance incentives just went live. This is from like a week, week and a half ago. And you can't see the incentives, but there are a lot of pools, stable, co stable coin plus DeFi token uh, pools in the high triple digit APRs. We don't typically see APRs like this in the bear market. And um, yeah, some of these APR, APRs might scare some people, but the DEX is trying to attract liquidity. And yes, contrary to, I wouldn't say popular belief, current narrative belief, liquidity is quite important for DEX. So um, Kava is a chain that I've been interested in. And thanks Haas for the tweet. I'll link this down below. There's also a tutorial in there that you might want to check out if you're looking to pursue the Kinetics DEX any further after this video. But that's what we're going to look out, look at today. And uh, yeah, this is this is the website, but I don't want to go there yet. I want to check out Kava first. Some background on Kava. Here we go. Kava is, on CoinGecko, a pretty high market cap token. It's roughly a hundred, a hundred, five hundred million dollars, which is quite high. It's comfortably in the top 10. And that's not the only the only story. Almost the whole supply is in circulation, it looks like, according to this, saying the fully diluted valuation is only you know a couple million higher than its current market cap, which means inflation seems to be tapering off here, which is a good sign, not a not a great sign always, but it's a good sign. And um, just some uh, token price action, which if you know me, I'm not that interested in minute to minute token price, but yeah, number 72, here's the market cap. Um, it's all time high was, uh, about nine bucks. It's down tremendously, just like lots of Cosmos ecosystem. If you want to call this a Cosmo e Cosmos ecosystem token, not sure if you want to go that far, but, um, yeah, Kava Network's interesting because of the USDT connection, which promises to bring lots of liquidity to Kava. And I know in in Cosmos proper, we're, we're excited about USDC, which is fine. Noble's going to be a tremendous asset to the ecosystem. I hope they do really well. But 
Kava has aligned itself with USDT, which gets tons of hate. I don't know why it gets tons of hate. Um, all stable coins can be kind of pointed at and questioned, in my opinion. But more stable coins is probably a good thing, as we saw with UST. Um, there were other stable coins that proved to be pretty secure during that volatile time. And um, if you didn't get wrecked with UST, maybe you were having some of your, your tokens in um, a different stable coin, maybe even USDT on, uh, on Ethereum. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. I want to show you DeFi Llama. So you can't see this. I need to shrink it a little bit. That will do. So the story here for me is a total value locked on the chain. And compared to other, other chains, in Cosmos, we have app-specific chains. Kava is not an app-specific chain. It is a, um, a platform for lots of applications to launch. TVL is pretty high, $200 million. Compare that to Osmosis, which is, you know, between like 60 and 80, I believe. But the total value lock uh, really hasn't taken a huge hit compared to what we would expect. And total value locked is important. It's how much liquidity is locked in smart contracts, right? And I can manipulate this. I could add other, other criteria, but I'm not going to do that. So, um, yeah, total value locked, important, especially this might be a, a um, kind of like a, a, a bottom here on TVL as more USDT enters this, this ecosystem. So that is, that is, um, Kava and back to kinetics, back to kinetics. This is the decks that Cosmos house was talking about. I'm interested in all decks whether it be Crescent shade, Astro vault, all these decks are important because you can't have all your eggs in one basket. Osmosis. I use it more than any other app, probably even more than stargaze but there are problems. People are on Twitter posting issues with the swaps. There have been issues with incorrect prices showing up on the front end, which might encourage people to swap more than they normally would. Um, it's user experience, right? Liquidity helps with user experience because you don't get the slippage and all that. Well, this app, this Dex, and we are going to check it out in a second, but this DEX is built by the same people who built QuickSwap on Polygon. Very interesting because that DEX has almost 100 million in TVL. And, um, and that's with Polygon taking an absolute beating in this, in this bear market. And they're still able to, yeah, look, 90, 90 million TVL on QuickSwap. This, I believe, is the number one DeFi app on Polygon, number one DEX at least. So there you go, 15 million in trading volume. Um, not sure how that compares to, to its competitors, but, um, the TVL is impressive. It's really hard to keep TVL on a chain when incentives are dwindling. So this team is going to build kinetics, which is going to be another DEX and Cosmos Haas's tweet is showing, Hey, look, they're trying to attract liquidity. You might want to take advantage of these APRs. Not sure if you want to do that. This is not financial advice. I haven't yet, but it's got my attention and I wanted to bring this to the attention of my viewers who might be looking for some yield farming opportunities or at least a new decks to check out. Um, I, we know DYDX is coming. That's going to be massive, hopefully, for Cosmos. But uh, yeah, let's just check this out really quick. Let's do that. Let's do this. Not my favorite view, but it's going to allow me to put some fancy captions on the screen. Boom. Look at that. Kinetics. Awesome. Let's change the color. Let's go for some contrast. There you go. Kinetics, a new DEX on Kava. Really quick, and then we'll get you out of here. But yeah, you could um, you could do simple swaps. It looks like Uniswap. It looks like Sunday Swap on Cardano. It looks like how a DEX should look. I want to select my token. I want to select the token that I'm swapping into, right? And I just want to I just want to do the swap. That's it. I don't want to see a bunch of things on the screen. Um, I don't want to be deterred from using this in any way if I'm a beginner. Sweet UI. In my opinion, Uniswap is the most beautiful DeFi app for beginners. I know that MetaMask is not perfect, but the app itself is great. And this is a is modeled after Uniswap. Um, got my pools here. I think I have to connect, connect my wallet. Uh, V3, no. Let's see V2. But anyway, what I wanted to show you before we get to that is the farms. 
When you go to the farms, it brings you to app.steer finance. It's a different app, different protocol associated with, with this. This is where I just click to connect MetaMask and it automatically added the Kava network to my MetaMask. So that might be an easy way to do it rather than doing it manually. So let's get to um let's get to uh how to get tokens on here in the first place. Squid Bridge is an option. So Squid Bridge, there is a tutorial for this. I'll link it down below. You could bring in tokens from all these different chains, all these different chains, including Osmosis, Cosmos, Stargaze, Axelar, uh, right to right to Kava. Right. So let's let's see what that would look like. Stargaze, let's say I got some stars. I want to bring it to Kava and I want Kava. Boom. I connect my wallet here. I'll connect Kepler. And over here, I would connect my uh, my MetaMask or whatever else you use for Kava. And then boom, you just you do the swap. I'm I'm assuming this takes a little while. It's a bridge. There's always bridge risk, but it's a decent way to get around. Right now, bridges, what are you going to do? You're going to send it to a centralized exchange, swap it, send it back. You can't send stars to a centralized exchange or a lot of these other tokens. So before I wrap this up, I wanted to show you the pools, but they are not showing up. This is going to be a, it's going to be a problem because I'm not editing this video. Uh, where are they? I want to see the pools. And yeah, this is this is the page you go to the farms. Sorry about that. Here you go, three hundred thirteen percent, five hundred forty percent. Have at it if that's you. Um, if you're looking for a place to park some money, I mean, you got some ETH stablecoin pools here. Um, should be, aside from you know, obviously the bridge situation, um, should be better than pairing two shit coins and hoping for the best, right? And we got Rat Bitcoin, Axelar ETH, and. A lot here, yeah, Cosmos Tether, 473%. If you have Adam already and you're going to pair it with a stable coin, doesn't seem too bad, doesn't seem too bad, but you know me, I'm not recommending anything. You do what you want with your money. Um, but yeah, that's it. That is Kinetics. I would like for people watching this video, if you have any other information, drop it down below. I'll definitely... Um, Look into this a little more. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on actually doing a uh, transaction using uh, using Squid Router. So, yeah, get your MetaMask ready. Play around on Kava. Lots of TVL. Got got USDT going for it. And now a new Dex brought forward by people who successfully built a uh, really successful Dex on Polygon. Take it easy. Like, share, subscribe, all those buttons. Push them all before you go. And uh, see you on November the 4th.